Let's now take you to River State where the governor, Similai Fubara, has declared the air on the decision of the River State government to cancel the recent employment at Ignatius Ajuru University of Education, saying it was as a result of the glaring irregularities associated with the process. Governor Fubara gave the explanation while addressing the River State chapter of the National Youth Council of Nigeria, who were on a courtesy visit. The governor said the employment process contravened the earlier approved 420 academic staff out of a total of 867 persons. Contrarily, a total of 1,900 persons were employed, out of which only 123 were academic staff. You requested for the employment of 867, yeah, 867 persons for for employment in the academic uh, uh, institution. 430 something are supposed to be academic staff and the difference, not academic. Now you submitted already employed list of 1,900 and something. Out of this 1,900, you employed only 123 academic staff. Is it proper? No. In the higher institutions, who are the major people you need? Is the academic staff. The not academic staff are just a few. So in that kind of situation, what do you expect us to do? Because we want to please our people, we swallow it. No, we, don't, we don't, can't do that. Now. That is the major reason of that cancel. Earlier in his address, the chairman National Youth Council of Nigeria River State Chapter, Chijoke Ihonwo, said the visit was to congratulate the governor on his electoral victory and the appointment of a youth activist, Chisum Bali, as Commissioner of Youth Affairs in the state. Your Excellency, we like your policy. The flag of the Portacultry, uh, the ring road cut across the six local governments. It's going to develop our states. <coughs> Multinationals begin to come in. There will be business move in our state. Your Excellency, want to also call on you to also, please, it's a passionate appeal that why we don't have access to these IOCs because they are, most of their head office are not in Portacos. And if the State Assembly can enact a law asking them to come back and also ensure that 70% of their workforce should come from where they operate, we can now have access to what is happening. For example, you go to our GP, you see a senator from the north recommending somebody on IT from Kwara State to come here for IT. After the IT, the person becomes a staff. Now in our own state where these businesses are holding, our people will finish and nothing for them. They will ask you to wait, wait, and we are still waiting. Let's let's see, please, these are the appeal we want to make to you. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.